In the last video, we met the fraction 3 eighths. And we described the meaning of this fraction in terms of a count. Namely, we said that 3 eighths of a pizza means 3 pieces of a size, that it takes 8 of them to make a pizza. So we said each piece is an eighth, and then we take 3 eighths to get 3 eighths. So again, just to cement the visual, here's our pizza cut into 8 equal parts. And then we see that each individual slice of this pizza is an eighth. So here is an eighth of the pizza. It remains an eighth of the pizza if we pick it up and move it away. And then we can make as many copies of this as we'd like. We could take three eighths for example, without assembling them back together into the pie. Just like when you take three slices of pizza, you take a slice of pizza, you take another slice of pizza, and then you take another slice of pizza. You don't set them back together to make up part of a circle. You have three individual eighths of the pizza. We could also have lots and lots of eighths. Right? We could have nine-eighths of our pizza, for example. Here we would write the fraction three-eighths, and here we would write the fraction nine-eighths. An eighth of a pizza is a thing. We can have whatever number of them we want to. And now we get an idea of what it is we're indicating by writing a fraction. What is it? A fraction is a number expressed in the form one number, fraction bar, another number, where there are requirements on the numbers. The number on top that I named n is called the numerator, and it can be any whole number. The number on the bottom, which I call d, is called the denominator. And that can be any whole number except for zero. So why these rules? The reason that we have exactly these rules is because of what the numbers mean. In particular, I'm taking pieces of such a size that d of them, whatever number d is, that many, make up one whole thing. Think the denominator, right? This part of the word, nomen, means name. Whenever you see that word part in an English word, we're referring to the name of something. The denominator names the kind of fraction. Then the numerator tells us how many pieces of that kind we will take. Right, again, numerate. Right. This word part, this numer part, means number. When you see that numer in an English word, you're referring to counting something. We can think about that in terms of counts, as we saw before. Each piece of the pizza was an eighth, and then we counted how many of these eighths we were taking. We can also think about this in terms of lengths. So remember when we understood a number as a length, we were counting these unit lengths. So for example, we understood this length as representing the number 3. How would we represent the length 3 eighths? We would need to start by figuring out what each eighth looks like. Well, we know that the denominator tells us how many pieces each 
unit, each whole thing, must be cut into. So, since the denominator is 8, we cut each unit, each unit length, into 8 equal parts. When we do that, it looks something like this. With the small purple marks, then, representing that we've gone a distance of an eighth, right? This length is still a unit length. The smaller length is an eighth. The length three-eighths, then, what does that mean? The numerator 3 tells us that we will use three of those lengths called an eighth each. Notice what happens when I draw nine eighths. Again, we started at zero and counted out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine of these little lengths representing an eighth each. But notice that that is longer than one full unit. In the next video, we'll talk about how we understand fractions of that kind, fractions that are longer than one full unit.